This is the Business of Leadership Series Minute with your host, the best-selling author of Don't Buy a Duck and founder of MarketingStrategyHero.com, Derek Champagne. I have Marcus Ogden with us today. Some of you know his name. He's a former NFL player and has played for several great teams. And at the age of 27, he founded a construction company. We'll have him talk more about that. And fast forward to today, and he is a motivational speaker. He's got this awesome best-selling book, Sleepless Nights, The NFL of Family and Business. Marcus, thanks for joining us. How you doing, Derek? Thanks for having me on. I'm excited to be on today. Take me back to that point. You you talked about drinking and gambling and just some of these demons to overcome. And there's people listening that, that are hiding and have that. What helped you, though? Did, is, did you follow those steps that you gave us advice for, those three pieces? And how did you come to that mindset to do it? Or was there somebody that reached in and pulled you out? What helped you find light again when you were, when you were feeling kind of this despair transition and right before doing the company and that excitement because man i understand the entrepreneurial wiring when you get that and you're all in man all your folks can go there demons go away there's focus i mean you you've got purpose and everything go into that i get that world that's been my most of my adult life is building those things well also what happened was i had a mentor from when i played for the ravens uh the, one of the one of the uh, pastors in the clergy ended up sitting me down saying hey marcus look i understand you're going through a lot. You lost your father. You're not in the NFL. I get it. But you are destroying the Ogden legacy. And you're destroying what your father ended up working so hard before he died to leave you, which was a good name. Mm. You're not doing anything illegal, but you're not doing anything that's positive either. Alcohol, nightlife, gambling, all that kind of stuff consistently and doing it every little bit, this is to enjoy is one thing, doing it in over excess to basically cause bodily harm is another. Right. So that's where you are. So that's what got me turned around was when a good friend of mine who I trusted and who I knew had my best interest at heart uh, through the Reverend clergy you know, with the Ravens, he helped get me back on track. 